okay, we're gonna write each equation in standard form using integers. And what we need to do, because standard form, I'll write it here at the top, is ax plus by equals c. And we need to then say, what do we not have in position? Well, right now in 31, we don't have the 2x in position. It's gotta be on the left-hand side. And when we subtract 2x from both sides, minus 2x, it's an x, we get negative 2x, the x's come first, plus y equals five. Problem is, we need to have a positive a value. So we need to multiply both sides by negative one, parentheses, negative 2x plus y equals negative one times five. We're essentially switching the sign of everything and you can just eventually switch the sign of everything. Um, and we get 2x minus y equals negative five. That's the answer for that one, okay? For number 33, what do we need to do? We need to distribute. Um, we say y minus four equals multiplying everything by negative two, negative two x plus six. So we have to add the x's to both sides to move them over, plus two x, and we get two x plus y minus four equals six. And we need to get the constants to the other side. So we then get two x plus y equals 10. Standard form. And then finally, here, let's first move the x's to the other side. Let's just say, oops, let me use a different color here. Let's move these to the other side by saying plus 2 thirds x plus 2 thirds x. And we get 2 thirds x plus y equals negative 1. Now we need to clear that fraction and the way that we're going to deal with this is just multiply by whatever the denominator is. We have a denominator of 3, so we're going to multiply everything by 3. 3 times 2 thirds x plus 3 times y equals 3 times negative 1. And then this of course those cancel out, giving us just 2x plus 3y equals negative 3. And those are our three solutions. You can see that not only are a, b, and c integer values, whole numbers, positive or negative, but we also have our a value, our leading value, uh, coefficient of x, is 